There's no better feeling than closing the deal on a target buck of three years. And on this afternoon hunt during the first week of November, I knew my buck was back in town. All the does were even nervous. I just got busted. The buck saw me moving the camera arm, and I had to let him walk away. About 10 minutes later, a hot doe brought him right back to me. blood. You see that? Big blood. Right there. Right there. You see him? Come here, brother. Oh, my goodness. I mean, look at this. Come over here on the other side of them. Wow. Look at that exit. Man, I hit him back. Damn. But it just did him. You want to hold that on me? Yeah. Oh, he's stiff. He died quick. I'm telling you right now, when he, when I saw him go down through the binoculars, I think that was it. He was done because he is mm. super stiff. Well, it's super cold out. Ah. <laughs> what a hell. Oh, he stinks. <laughs> That's three years in the making right there. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we just we just recovered him and I wanted to pause and get set up for a post interview. This is laid back. It's November 4th and I've hunted this deer for three years. And what's crazy is is out of his trail camera pictures he's been the same like maybe one or two inch difference in three years he grows back the same exact antlers it's crazy two years ago he gave me a picture a day picture on october 28th the following year i hunted him on october 28th trying to get lucky but it didn't happen so uh today this morning i got pictures of him dogging a doe and it showed me that he was back he's been he was been gone for 21 days. He came back and I was like, I gotta hunt him. So I jumped up in the stand tonight and I just hung a brand new set and it worked out perfect. I was actually extremely low, but um, it worked out really good. So laid back, just a giant eight point. Um, the biggest eight point I've ever killed. Um, Luminoc, Luminoc really, really uh, did well tonight because it let me see where I hit him and I watched the, vid the video on the computer to see and I knew I hit him far back but I hope was hoping I angled forward and took out um, at least one lung I know it took his liver out but then when he stopped here on the edge of this field I just watched the Luminoc through my binoculars and I actually watched him go down but when in doubt back out I backed out we gave him four hours and he was stiff as a board, so he was dead quick. Live for, die for here in Maryland. This is what I just absolutely love, is hunting the largest and oldest deer on the property. And conquest since Evercom, it's just, 
proof is in the pudding. I had does around me all evening and never picked up my scent. And then there's Ozonix above my head. It's just a game changer. I said it before my last kill. So live for, die for, putting Midwest class bucks on the ground here in my home state of Maryland.